Hi Joe, it's Monday. I have to do my video today, and I'm going to be giving you my report on my mystery book book report, which is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Um, to start off, the first hundred pages of this book, completely and utterly boring. From about page 101 to 500 or when the book ends, it is completely a sm... How to put this? It's smut. Um, best way to describe it is it's a pornography novel. Um, I'm assuming you've read the book, Joe. It's literally... The whole book starts uh, with a character with a character named Anna Steele, and she is doing an interview of a multi-billion dollar person, or a billionaire, um, who owns a really big company, a, a gentleman by the name of Christian Grey. And basically, they end up getting into a relationship. Um, and Christian Grey isn't the normal type of person. He's a dominatrix. So basically... He draws up this contract, and she signs a non-disclosure agreement, um, which basically says that she won't tell anybody what's going on with their relationship, and through that, she can't really talk to anybody about it. Uh, the book, it's not a horrible book, it's not the best book I've ever read, but I'm really, really upset about the ending of the book. Because they're, they're going through it, they're having a good relationship, and their entire relationship is based off of compromises. Anna compromises on what she will and will not do with Christian Grey. Christian Grey buys her things and she complains about it. But then it gets down to the end of the book, and then she's just all like... She ends up getting punished. She ends up getting spanked like six times or something stupid like that. And then she's all like, no, I'm done, and just leaves. The dude bought her, like, a $14,000 book, a brand new car, uh, a MacBook, and a Blackberry. And then she's all like, no, I'm done, and just walks out and leaves all that stuff on the counter. Even though he's all like, Christian was all like, oh no, you can keep all that stuff, it's just gonna remind... He bought her a car, and she gave it back to him. The hell is that about? Like, honestly, if you're going to buy a car for somebody and be all like, nope, this is your car, and take your other car and you sold it for, I would, I would just keep the car. There's no point in returning the car. I don't get it. Um, that's pretty much it for the book report. I know it's probably a little bit under four minutes, but it's not that big of a book, so it's really not that big of a book report. All in all, life here at Fort Sam, it's wet, it's going to be raining for the rest of the week, um, I got completely drenched today walking home from school, and our camouflage uniforms don't do well in water, they absorb it, so literally it looked like I went swimming in my camouflaged uniform, it wasn't fun, I don't ever advise it, and I didn't have my raincoat with me, because I didn't expect it to be raining that hard when I got back. So I was completely soaked. So I've got another day of clinicals. Um, I'm up in cardiovascular. So I'm going to be doing some heart surgery tomorrow. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in the surgery. Probably nothing, because they're probably not going to trust me as a student to do anything. If I'm lucky, I might get a hold of a retractor. Yay. Okay. I'm going to go, Joe. Have a good night. Enjoy your ample opportunity to, you know, do stuff that you want to do. I hope you're having fun at work. And I'll talk to you later. See you on Wednesday.